Hello friends and welcome to my channel the Unix Mantra. Today we are going to learn how to set up a virtual lab with CentOS 7 machines. Basically we will create a virtual lab with 3 virtual machines. So the prerequisites for creating the lab is you should have a virtual box that is Oracle virtual box installed on your host machine and you should have ISO of CentOS 7. So our setup will consist of three machines. Machine one will have a host name as pm1.thenixmantra.com and IP address as 192.168.56.10. Then second machine uh, with the host name pm2.thenixmantra.com and the IP as 56.11. And the third machine with the host name vm3.thenixmantra.com and IP address as 56.12. So let's start. So just open your Oracle Virtual Box Manager and click on New. Here uh, it will ask you to give the name of the virtual machines. So I will simply give the name as VM1 and the type of the OS will be Linux and search for the CentOS. So we don't have the option or version of CentOS 7 so we'll select all the Linux 64 bit click on next here it is asking for the memory size so we'll keep as 512 to MB then it is asking for the size of the hard disk so it will be I will just set it as the default as 8 GB and the disk file type will be VDI. Now it is asking for the file location that is uh, where to store that uh, hard disk. So the default location is the user's home directory and there will be a virtual box VMs uh, folder. Within that it will create a directory with the name of the virtual machine that will you will give. Here in our case it is VM1. So I will keep it as the default and just click on create. So it has created the VM. So I'll just just select that VM and click on the start. So now it is asking for the ISO image. So I will select CentOS 7 minimal ISO and click on start. So the installation has started. Uh, it's asking for to select the language. So we'll keep it as English US. And select date and time. So in our case, select as Asia Polka. And the installation. Uh, Let's keep it default that is uh, keep the partitioning as auto. And click on begin installation. Here I will simply set the root password. And the installation has started. Here, yeah, the setup has been completed, uh, so we'll just reboot the system. Log in with the root user. So currently if we check uh, the IP address, so currently it has uh, one NIC but it doesn't have any IP. Actually uh, by default whenever create create a virtual machine, a virtual box attaches uh, a NIC to it which will be of a NAT type. So by default it will be in downstate so we'll make it up. So just the command for that is if up 
and the name of the, the Ethernet. And now if you check, so it has this IP that is of 10.0.2.15. So basically thing is that uh, if you go to the settings section of the PM and the network you will see uh, one adapter with the type of NAT. So if your host machine has internet access then by default your guest machine will get it. So currently this PM should have internet access. We'll just try to verify that with the thing into Google. So it's getting pinged. So the VM has the internet access. So, in order to create an internal lab, uh, we'll have to attach a new disk. Uh, sorry, we'll have to attach a new adapter uh, which will have a private IP or internal IP attached to it. So, how to do that? For that, uh, a network adapter, you will have to attach a second adapter, but it is not allowing us to do that uh, as the vm is power so we'll power it up so uh, just go to the the setting of the vm and in adapter to click on enable network adapter and select host only adapter and click ok so by default, uh, the host only adapter has uh, DSCP enabled. So we don't want to use a DSCP. So what we will do, we will go to file section and host network manager. And here uh, by default, it, uh, the DSCP server will be in enabled state. So make sure that it is disabled. So uh, it already is disabled. So we won't do anything. Now just power on the VM. So now if you see uh, there there is uh, the third adapter uh, with the name ENP0 asset which is the one that we have recently attached so currently it has no IP address so we'll have to give IP to it so just go to etc sysconfig network script and here uh, there is no file for that uh, adapter so what we will do We'll copy the existing file of uh, the first adapter. And we'll give the name of the second adapter to it. Just edit that because we'll have to make some changes. Uh, yet the, the default boot protocol is DSP, so, so we'll as we are going to use the static IP, we'll just remove it. Don't want this uh, IPv6 settings, so I'll just hash those lines. The name is replace 3 with 8, and this is the UID of the previous chapter. So I will just make it hashed. Set on boot as yes, and now give the IP address. The IP address that we wish to give is 192.168.56.10, and the prefix as it is class C address will be slash 24. Save it and The currently the first adapter is 
set as on boot as no so we'll make that to as s and we'll make both the adapter enable with comma if of Now if you see, so both the adapter has the IP address. Sorry, the second adapter has sent got the IP address. So, so we'll just restart the network series. And now if you see the adapter has IP as 192.168.56.10. If you want to access this from your host machine, just uh, open the putty and put the address as 192.168.56.10. And here we go. So we are able to log in using putty as well. So we'll change the hostname for this machine. If you see, it has the host name as this, and the IP addresses. So we'll uh, do the same thing to create the the next VM. Just click on New, then give the name as VM2. Keep the default settings. Click on start. Select the path of the ISO. Click on start. The same thing, uh, select language and select date and time. Give the install destination as automatic partition. Set the root password. I will pause the video while it installs. Installation has completed, so just rebooting the VM. Login with root user. Power of the machine as uh, we have to attach the next adapter to it. So click on settings, go to network adapter to enable network adapter, select host only adapter, click on okay. now. Power on the machine, login fit suit user and Go to the network configuration. Uh, 
the next adapter is ENP0 asset. So what we will do, we will just copy the existing electric configuration file and just rename it with the, the next Ethernet adapter. Just edit that file. Change the boot protocol from DSCP to LAN. Hash the IPP6 related settings. Change the name from 3 to 8 here as well. Hash this UID. I would set to S then set the IP address. The next IP is 192.168.56.11. Prefix is equal to 24. To edit the first adapter setting and change the setting from on put no to yes. Restart the network service. And as you can see, we have got both the IP addresses for the first adapter that is NATED1 and the next adapter is the most only adapter and it has IP as 192.168.56.11 Set the host name as vm 2dunixmontacom just reboot the system. So I'm for the next VM I'm going to repeat the same thing. So I'm not going to show it to So here we have our three virtual machines created. So if you want to log into any virtual machine from your host machine, you can just open the put session and just give the IP address of any machines that you want to log in. So 56 stop time. So I will log into my first VM. So you want to log into any other machines so you all the machines are reachable here you can simply check that form just pinging to that machines for example this one so if you want to log into these machines I can just assess to the IP 192.168.56.11 so as you can see I am in the the third virtual machines so this way the lab is set up you might uh, be considering why I have taken the IP address of the range 56 because uh, the first only adapter that is attached to this has the network of 56 that's why we have taken the the network range of 56